It's the calm before the storm. There's a sense of excitement in the air. Last time that Gromit and I met in theatre, I helped her welcome ten puppies into the world. I wonder what the magic number will be today. We only have, oh, we only have Madeline today. So. <laughs> <laughs> Am I going to get a puppy named after me? Oh, that's exciting. Be like, All right. It's all hands on deck anytime we're performing a caesarean. On this particular day, I had our practice manager and veterinary nurse, Leslie, scrub in with me to assist. For the puppy's survival and the best outcome for the mum, we take extra steps to ensure both mum and pups are under the anaesthetic for the shortest possible time. This means that the surgeon, myself, and the assistant scrub in advance of the patient being anaesthetised. A second veterinarian and nursing team are on hand, clipping and cleaning her belly prior to anaesthetising her. Once she's anaesthetised, she is quickly carried through into theatre where her surgeons and nursing team are waiting. In the wings, we have a team of veterinary nurses and veterinary nursing students waiting to resuscitate the puppies as soon as they are born. There is also a large amount of anticipation as to how many puppies Gromit is carrying, what their sexes will be, and most importantly, if anyone of them will be named after us. I'm five and seven. I have a three or four. Put seven on there. 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 Put seven I'm expecting a lot of puppies. In Gromit's last litter there were 10 puppies, so I'm fully expecting another large litter. I make a long midline incision to provide adequate access to her uterus and her puppies. Her gravid uterus is equally amazing and anxiety inducing. I carefully assess her uterus and decide on the best position to make my incision. After a quick position swap with Leslie, I'm ready to start bringing puppies into the world. I make my incision, locate my first puppy and massage the puppy inside its amniotic sac into the world. I quickly break them free of their watery home, clamp off their umbilical cord and pass them on to our team of nurses who are ready to revive the puppies. After a few quiet moments, we hear the reassuring sound of a newborn puppy's cry. Whilst this is happening, I am gently removing the placenta from the uterus before I can move on to bringing the next puppy into the world. At all times, we have Nurse Kelly monitoring the anaesthetic and ensuring that Gromit is coping well under the anaesthetic. Her job is to alert me to any problems with Gromit. Whilst it's easy to get caught up in the excitement of new puppies being born, we cannot forget about the wonderful mum who gave these little ones life. Do you want to grab some more plants, 
So long as you're Yeah, it's so uh, yeah. It's got a tail, but it's short. Yeah. So far they've got Gus's yeah. markings, but Arthur's tail. Mm. <laughs> you have to As more and more puppies are born, Leslie and I find our groove when it comes to clamping and cutting umbilical cords. Leslie's extra pair of hands are invaluable. We have a puppy revival station set up just outside the theatre with access to oxygen, medication, suction and warming devices for the puppies as they wait for their sisters and brothers to be born and mum to recover from surgery. Caesareans are messy surgeries. We splash around in amniotic fluid and blood. In order for the staff to be handling puppies, they must be vaccinated against Q fever. Fortunately, Q fever is not very common. However, it is spread through amniotic fluids, and so PPE must be worn and vaccination against Q fever is a requirement in our hospital, as staff safety is of the utmost importance. The beeping you can hear in the background is our anaesthetic monitoring equipment. Throughout the procedure, we are monitoring Gromit's heart rate, SpO2, end tidal CO2, blood pressure, respiratory rate, temperature and anaesthetic depth. Kelly is recording her vital signs on the digital anaesthetic chart within the iPad. Hey, she's Octo Mum. Oh my god, she's totally Octo Mum! We have created a supportive team environment, so as vets and nurses are walking past, they're checking in to see how we're going and providing whatever assistance we need. Here we go. Alright, you're not completely out of sex. Okay, that's fine. From induction to the birth of eight healthy puppies, closing the incision and waking Gromit up was 58 minutes. So proud of the team for being able to deliver all of Gromit's puppies alive and well. Amazing job guys. Frenchie puppies all healthy and well 
Um, and mum is just waking up from her anaesthetic now. So do you remember baby Emma? This is baby Emma all grown up and she got to keep her name as Emma. Isn't she gorgeous? Say hi Emma. Hi everyone. Okay, so today is seven weeks post their birth and as you can see they're doing incredibly well. Come back here. And they're looking so adorable. So I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Alright, catch you later.